Hey guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I wanted to share with you guys my top controllers, pro controller alternatives that I have for the Nintendo Switch. And some of these are some of the best in the market that you could get that if you don't want to get the pro um, official controller like I have, I've had the Nintendo Switch since day one. And believe it or not, I've never purchased the pro official controller never because i have so many great choices that i've been getting that i haven't needed to buy the pro official controller but these are alternatives or choices that are actually pretty damn good and i just want to share with you so let's go ahead and start with the first one because there's a lot of them um here if you want a controller that's very good but it's not too flashy uh, this one right here, let me show you guys the box. I have a box for all of these. I made sure I had the box for all of these. Okay, so this one right here is the GameSir Daybreak Model Cyclone, right? And it's multi-platform game controller, so that means you can use it on PC, Nintendo Switch, Android, and iOS as well. Um, and this right here is very, very simple. There's no RGB whatsoever. Um, I think they're pretty cheap. I think they're uh, like 40 bucks or maybe even less. And these are very good. The design is very, very reminiscent to uh, an Xbox controller. I think it looks more and feels more like an Xbox Series controller than a pro Nintendo Switch controller. And they're very good from GameStar. I also have the black version over here, which they call it Midnight. I already and and of course I have videos, individual videos for all these controllers. So if you want to know a little bit more in depth about all these controllers, you might want to watch those videos. So this one is the Cyclone Pro, and what makes this one Pro is that it actually comes with the you know Wi-Fi dongle there. That's basically it. It comes with the Wi-Fi dongle, and I think the buttons are actually mechanical. I think uh, but other than that you know this is a very good controller especially if you don't want something that's too flashy like with RGBs and all that this is a good one another very popular controller which is also very good and I've been using for a while different versions of it is this one right here this is the 8-bit though Pro 2 Bluetooth gamepad of course it's good for the Nintendo Switch Windows Android Mac OS and Steam Deck as well. I've used this one with the Steam Deck as well. It comes in different colors. This one is uh, the purple translucent or transparent version. It looks awesome. It comes with uh, the black version as well, which I did a video. When I did the video for this, I did a video for both the black one, which is translucent, and this one right here, which is so cool. And of course, it comes with rechargeable battery. Um, you can have the switch right there to switch between modes and it just feels really nice a very like classic look and feel to it but it feels very very comfortable and it's one of the most popular ones uh, when it comes to controllers for switch pc and everything this is one of the most popular ones so yeah this is a very good option another good option is this one right here let me see okay i got the box right here the big one elitist Elite S controller. Uh, this is a pro compatible with Switch, Windows, and Android. And it's actually this one right here. Now this one, I think if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the most similar to the pro Nintendo Switch controller. The build quality is very awesome. You got the switch there to switch between um, consoles. Um, here, the rear buttons, I really like that it is flush to the body. Like you see there, this is this one makes it unique compared to the other ones because it doesn't have your, your typical rear buttons. It looks like, you know, like it's built in into the body and it feels so good because even if you don't use it, you don't feel that it's actually there. Um, they are, you know, well built. The build quality is awesome. I think it has, let me see, I think it has gyroscope, customization button in the back, next speed wireless technology. I don't know if it has the... I don't think it has NFC con compatibility, but it's really good. And it, in the hands, it feels very, very, very high end. Another cool one that is also a very good choice is this one right here. This is the MOBA pad, uh, the MOBA pad controller. And what this one stands out from all these that you see right here is that this one is actually compatible with NFC. So yes, if you're a fan of uh, the NFC Amiibos, this one actually has Amiibo control support. 
and it's you know i like the design i think the design is actually pretty cool not supposed to get drift while using these joy cons because these are hall effect joyce cons um hd linear motors that had the vibration is actually pretty good um over here in the back you have these uh programmable button which i like because they're small you know they're not huge like most of the rear buttons that you find in different controllers i think this is good the build quality is also really good and the design is also meant to be very very similar to the pro nintendo switch official controller so if you like the pro nintendo switch uh, feel um this might be a very good option for you now one thing the these buttons are actually mechanicals they're not like your normal membrane or analog buttons these are actually mechanical some people like them some people don't and the d-pad i think is also feels really good as well so yeah this is another good option that you can get for the nintendo switch that actually feels really good another brand of controller that's also very popular is this one right here this is actually from the company power a controller and they are very popular for making a whole bunch of different designs when it comes to these controllers these are wireless and they are they feel light but they always have great amazing designs and if you're a fan of zelda or mario or peach or pokemon whatever you're a fan of they most likely have a design for it it's not flashy when it comes to rgb that's for sure it's not flashy um it does have rear programmable buttons and you got the menu button right there to actually program it uh the design like i said is very you know very nice looking always very cool this one is called the fireball mario fireball and this one actually i did a video for it uh, i think months ago and this one actually comes with a case as well you know not all of these come with cases keep in mind that not all of these come with case just a few of them actually come with case but most of them they come individually but this one actually came with the case the case is this one right here that you see i got it here physically very awesome so and it's also very cheap the controller with the case i think it's around 25 or less than 30 bucks which honestly is a very very good deal and oh wait a second this is not wireless this is wired this is wired yeah oh, i can't believe this actually sneaked in but yeah this is wired but this company actually have a whole bunch of wireless controllers that they look just like this but this one actually sneaked in i forgot that this one was actually wired so now let's go ahead and show you guys some of the very cool flashy controllers we're gonna go to the rgb territory controllers um and these are very awesome okay like this one right here this is the bing bok play ultra pro controllers good for switch good for windows and very awesome looking this is the box right it's gonna put it to the side this is how it looks this is the controller uh when you turn it on it has a very beautiful looking rgb the controller i think it's from all these i think this is the one that has the more weight to it it feels very high end and because of the way i think because of the way and the build quality the this right here feels very rubbery it is rubber yeah it is rubber it feels really good very awesome grips of course the lights you can switch them to different colors uh what's cool about this as well is that you can control the gyro you can control the vibration and i think also the i forgot what was the other thing that you can control there but like i said i have videos for these um it has inter batteries that you can replace and look at this very awesome looking and i think this is connected yeah oh yeah yeah this is connected here i'm playing peach right there very cool it has all the functions that you expect to get from a nintendo controller um and it's so so damn cool so damn cool uh, also has programmable button up here like you see that up here as well and the programmable buttons over here so it has one two three four programmable buttons the triggers feels really good it, it has it has an amazing build quality and it looks very very awesome so if you're a huge fan of games that look like this with rgb and build quality uh, this might be for you and the buttons are actually mechanicals okay so if you like mechanical buttons these are for you because the mechanical buttons are actually very good quality so yeah this is a very good one i think this you can switch it to the normal conventional one i think you can but uh for more info on that just watch my prior videos the other very awesome controller that i've been using a lot lately 
Um, it's from the same company, I believe. Yeah, it's from the same company, Bing Bok, and this is the Gemini. This is the Gemini Switch controller. This is just for the Switch, not for a PC or whatsoever. This is just for the Switch. Um, and, uh, you know, no, there's nothing really special here that you can look at, but this is it right here. This is it. So this is how it looks. Looks very, very awesome. The build quality is amazing. It feels a little bit closer to the Nintendo Switch Pro controller when it comes to the feel and to the design of it. I like that you can actually see the vibration motors. It has like a see-through that way you can see the vibration motors. Uh, you can control the vibration as well. You control the vibration. It has a little toggle here that lets you switch between the vibration. And I don't know if you can see there, the vibration's changing. Um, it also has the buttons here where you can switch the, how you call it, the RGB. So you want to switch colors, you can switch colors like that. Look at that, a rainbow looking. Very awesome, you know, and I like the buttons. The buttons feels very really good. The buttons are non-mechanical, which for me, I prefer, I prefer non-mechanical buttons. I just like the way they feel, I like the way they feel. And the triggers are also really good. So there's no complaints there when it comes to the triggers. And of course, this right here, I believe this is the uh, the button that you use to actually pair to the Nintendo Switch for the first time. And that's it. So yeah, but this is one of my favorite ones of, of here in the bunch. Okay, the other controller that I want to show you guys, I'm going to put this to the side, is this one right here, which I have plugged in right there to the power. And that's because this one, let's show you guys the box as well. This right here is from Big Big One, right? Um, what's the brand? Yeah, yeah. Big, big one company. They do a lot of controllers, very good quality controllers. This is the Rainbow 2 Pro controller. It's compatible with, uh, it says multi-platform for Windows 10, 11, Switch, Android, and iOS. Four in one controller. It has remappable buttons, audio support for wireless, for wireless, uh, 2.4 connection, Bluetooth, and wired. So you can use this controller in three ways. And it has, of course, a replaceable thumbsticks. And what's cool about this, here you go. You got the wireless right here replacement. And you got the thumbsticks right there. And what's cool about this controller, let's going to show you guys. It comes with this, the rechargeable dock. Now, I think you could buy the controller without the rechargeable dock. I think you can. I believe you can buy it without the rechargeable dock. But if you're going to buy this, you might as well get the one with the rechargeable dock. You know, it comes like that. Very cool. When you plug it in, boom. It actually, if the controller needs charge, it will actually start flashing here in the bottom. All right now, since the controller is at 100%, it turns off. But right now, if it was this charge, if it was actually charging, this right here would stay flashing like like it is right now but right now it's going to turn off very very soon because the controller is at 100 percent uh, when it's charging it actually switches color um, you can actually download the application for your smartphone and you can actually customize these lights however the hell you want um, it has these buttons over here that lets you program the the buttons that you have right here in the back um, here as well like you see here has the, these buttons over here if you're a fan of shooter games um, this has a very good, you know, very good range, uh, but look okay, at this is normal. There you go. This is the normal range, right? You got the normal range. But if you want to use it for shooter and have a better little short range, this is where you want to put it at. So it has this buttons right here that lets you actually, you know, change the range where of uh, this these triggers. So it's really cool. So the higher you put it, the more sensitive it's gonna be. So it has the rear programmable buttons, the charging portion right there, headphone jack right there, which is cool. It may let you voice chat or whatsoever. Um, you have controls here for the voice chat, who I think, yeah, you can actually replace this as well. So if you don't like the way this one looks, you can actually replace it to other, um, to the normal conventional one, the buttons are not mechanical, which I prefer. I prefer buttons that are not mechanical. And these feel really good. It feels more similar when it comes to feel-wise. It, it feels more like a Xbox controller instead of a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. But hey, it's pretty cool, you know. If you, you could turn it off. If you don't like those lights on, you could just turn it off. You could press on again and it'll turn it on. 
uh, I think this one right here is actually the motor that you use to actually change it with the phone and that's it so when you're you know done playing just put it right there so now it's going to show you guys one of my favorite controllers that I've been using for I think the longest of all these controllers that I have right here and it's this one right here this is the power a fusion controller and the box is huge let me see if i can fit it here on the video <laughs> there it is uh this is power a by fusion fusion by power a uh, it has some remappable buttons here that you can actually replace you can actually take them out uh like you see here it's black that's because it comes with a face plate and uh, of course i think let me see it has wired or wireless mappable button swappable parts and of course the, the the reason this box is so huge is because it comes with a very cool travel case uh which i have it right here this is the travel case like you see right here it says fusion uh it's gonna open it up so you guys can see what's in the case uh, okay so you got rechargeable button uh rechargeable cable you got replaceable sticks here that you can change to and it comes with these right here these are the back paddles that you can actually put them on if you don't use them you could just take them off and put it right here like you see right there that has this compartment right here that if you take it off uh, you can actually go ahead and put that right there and make it have the like the rear re, uh, mappable buttons and of course it has a slot right here or a spot right here where you can actually um, change or you know put away the um, cover if you want if you don't want the white one you could go ahead and switch to the black one but i think when you first buy this it actually has the black one on and then you know i i went ahead and switched to the to the black white one because i prefer the white controllers and it's one of my favorite ones it feels really good this right here in the back is actually rubber it's not plastics you know trying to simulate rubber it is actually rubber like i said i don't use the rear paddles that much so that's why i actually took them off and put the cover over here instead um and it has you can switch from bluetooth to usb c usb cable uh this does not come with it this is something that i use uh from uh to charge different controllers um the triggers actually feels really really good quality the sticks feels really good uh, i like the design i think the design looks really nice and clean it doesn't have rgb but it looks really really cool especially with these you know little red rings around the sticks it's really really awesome the sticks also feels really good so this is one of my favorite controllers it has head headphone jack right there as well but i think it's kind of expensive i think it goes like for almost 100 bucks so yeah those were all the wireless controllers that i really love that you can actually use them to replace your pro controller or if you don't want to get a pro controller you can get those now um before i finish the video i wanted to mention a couple wired controllers that are very cool options like this one right here the gamester t4 khalid I did a video for this. I'm not going to take it out of the box, but I did a video for this and it's actually really damn good. But I'm not a huge fan of wired controller. But if you like wired and you like RGB and a controller that actually feels really good and it's also multi platform as well, I think, yeah. Uh, PC, Switch, and Android. And I also have a video for this one right here, which is the uh, Spectra by Power A. This is from Power A Spectra. Uh, has eight colors of led wired mappable bind and it also has headphone jack as well where you could use to actually um, listen to music like see that looks really nice nice so yeah i did videos for these already but if you want wired these two right here are a very very good choice if you want wired so yeah other than that guys thanks for watching this video let me know in the comments what you think about all these choices that i have when it comes to pro controllers for the nintendo switch and believe it or not like i said i've never even purchased or owned the original pro controller the official one for the nintendo switch because why i don't even have to look at all the options i have so yeah thanks for watching this video let me know in the comments which is your favorite controller and what other controller do you use if it's not one of these thanks for watching i'll leave links in my descriptions for some of these controllers till next time bye bye